Hey everyone, this is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tutorial on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. And today I got a very awesome tutorial for you guys. I basically made this up myself. Well, basically, I did make this up all by myself. And you might have already seen it because I used it in a, uh, a video that I put up just a bit earlier than this tutorial. So, yeah, I bet you guys are kind of excited to see what I got up my sleeve, right? <laughs> now, what's very special about this tutorial is that everything is created within After Effects. So, there's no third-party plugins, nothing. So, it's pretty awesome. And uh, before I continue on this tutorial, I got to hurry up anyway. I got to go to a dinner with my family and stuff. So, before I get into that, please like this video, guys. It helps us out so much, and uh, we get so many more likes when we ask for it. I know it's pathetic. You guys probably hate us for it, but just please like the video. And the last thing I want to talk about before I get into it is that you guys are awesome. We hit 40,000 subscribers. That's just insane. I never thought that 40,000 people would like the way we teach and the way that we do our business and the way we play video games and all that stuff. So thank you guys so much for making our dreams come true. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into this tutorial. I'm going to go kind of fast today, guys. So let's just jump right into it. Let's create a new comp. 1080p, very easy. Right click, new, solid. We're going to create a new background. Let's just make it uh, black is okay. And let's uh, enter, call it BG. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to create a new ramp. So just go, go over to the effects and presets, type ramp. You'll find it. Click and drag it onto there. We're just going to make a very simple ramp, white to light, light gray. Maybe right about there. Now we're going to go radial gra radial ramp. <laughs> radial ramp. That's kind of a tongue twister. But yeah. So next we're going to go new solid. We're going to make this one white. And we're going to call it, with it selected, hit enter. We're going to call it blinds. And that's because we're going to go over here and type in blinds. And you should find Venetian blinds. So let's click and drag that onto there. Make this about... Uh, about 34, 35 looks good. We're going to make it a 45 degree angle and we're going to make the width maybe a little smaller. Uh, do what you want though. You know, I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life once again. Uh, 20, I mean, that's what it was at before. It looks good. So I'm going to just keep it at that. Actually, no, I'm going to make it like 16. Yeah, I like 16 better. So with blind selected, hit T and uh, lower the opacity to what you think looks good. I'm going to make it about, uh, 21 looks good, just so it's not so in your face. Actually, I'm going to make it 20. So, yeah, we're in good shape. So now right click again. We're going to go new, solid. And we're just going to create that uh, that nice little particle effect that we had going on. So let's make a white, or white. <laughs> let's make a black, uh, new solid. We're going to call it part. I don't even know how, well, I'll just leave it at part because I can't remember how to spell particles. I'm so rushed and under pressure, under pressure. You know how I am. <laughs> so let's type snow in on this side. I've done this before in like how to create a, uh, a like water intro kind of a thing. So, oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. I don't know why I just burped. I haven't eaten anything all day, but, um, yeah. So with, uh, the particles selected, let's write, <laughs> what am I saying? Okay. With the particle selected, let's hit, uh, well, okay, if you don't have the blending modes, you're going to hit this, F4, if you don't have the blending modes. And that'll just uh, bring up the blending modes, and then we're going to make it add, so then you just see the particles. And we're going to bring down the amount by a lot. Let's bring them down to, well, right about an 80 looks good. Put the speed to negative, we're going to make it like negative 20. Yeah, negative 20 is good. Then you can mess with this, uh, the amplitude and the the frequency. That just basically makes them, you know, look a little different. You know, um, we're going to keep the flake size about at 2. That looks good. We're going to make the opacity 100%. And, uh, yeah, so now we're going to go to the, the particles layer, and we're going to go effect. We're going to go to stylize. We're going to go to glow. And that just adds a new depth to it. And I'm actually going to make them a little smaller just because, you know, I don't like my balls that big. 
<laughs> Boogum, tss, my stupid jokes. All right, so now we have the particles and stuff. Now we're going to create that little stripe in the middle. So all you're going to do for that is just double click that rectangular tool. Make sure it's at white. You can, uh, it might be at black, so just hit the fill, bring it up to white. And now click on the very top and drag down to where about you want your uh, text to be like how big you want it it's all up to you guys this is your tutorial as much as it is my tutorial so yeah think about that one <laughs> now with the shape layer selected hit enter and we'll just rename it stripe how original right and we're gonna go to soft light just so it makes it kinda like glassy a little bit looks nice right then we're gonna go up to effect and we're gonna go to perspective and add some depth to it we're gonna uh, put up the opacity to 100 then bring up the softness just to add a little bit of depth to the stripe you see that so I mean all around it's already looking really good and I, I just noticed I don't really like the, the particles like that many particles so I'm actually gonna drop it down a bit yeah that, that looks a lot better I don't like it popping out my face with a bunch of particles okay cuz I'm not I'm not a very sparkly guy and uh, real quick guys let's just trim the comp I never like because I never know how long I want my intros to be so I never really specify how long I want it but I know that I want this one to be about five seconds so let's bring it to six seconds right click on the the thing I've done this min a million t a million times why am I stuttering so much do trim comp to work area and let's do it again to about five seconds trim it alright so now let's go up to the text tool let's uh you know put it right in the middle and we'll just go check it how original right <laughs> and we're gonna make sure that it's on Nova because I like that text a lot that's a really cool text that I found and uh, now let's hit scale with that's the letter S and we're gonna scale it up a lot just so it fits better on the uh, on the little stripe thing yeah that looks good alright so now this is where the tutorial gets interesting because it's like two tutorials in one. I'm going to create a very glossy look on this text. So what we're going to do is first we're going to go over to the effects and presets. We're going to go to ramp. We're going to click and drag it onto the check it. We're going to create a nice little ramp. Let's make a kind of a dark gray to black ramp. And then let's select the very top of the ramp, hit shift and hold it drag it down to right about there and then do the same thing down here but drag it up maybe right about there bring it down a little bit yeah that looks really good I like how that looks so now we're gonna hit control D with the check it selected we're gonna hit enter to rename it we're gonna name it gloss now with gloss selected we're gonna go to the pen tool we're gonna go a little bit above the middle on both sides then we're gonna click and drag till we create a kind of uh, kind of like arc with the pen tool close it off and then you don't see any difference right now but when we, when we leave the top color gray and then we select this bottom black color and make it white it creates a nice kinda of glossy look now we're going to edit it a bit though we're gonna we're gonna select this bring it up right to the edge bring this back a little bit because that doesn't look too good now with the gloss selected we're gonna hit T bring down the opacity a bit maybe not too much but enough and I'm gonna select this just so I can see what's going on and just do it until you find a look that you like you know if you like that I mean that looks really nice to me so I'm gonna leave it at that and then I'm gonna bring back the that just shows the masks and stuff so yeah so now we got the glossy look let's uh, parent the gloss to the check it so then we don't have to worry about just moving like both of them at the same time because that does kinda suck Next, let's do the nice, um, you know, URL at the bottom. So let's just do uh, www.checkit.com. You can make it whatever you want. I provided it in the uh, little pack that I put up on Mediafire. So I'm going to just call this URL just to make it easy. Then what we're going to do, let's just uh, grab the check it layer real quick. Let's just copy this ramp paste it onto the effects just so we can and then let's double click it and let's change this to Nova as well why didn't it do it let's just find it right here then 
There we go. Did it that time. Let's actually spread it out a little bit. And uh, let's go back to the move tool. Move it right about, right under it. That, that, that looks good. I like how that looks. Now let's zoom in and mess with the ramp now. And we have our two colors, so that looks good. So let's uh, bring it down. So basically just make it how you want it to look. I mean, I'm not I'm not trying to be your boss or anything boom that looks really good to me so yeah now I know what you're thinking Eli this looks amazing I'm done well you can be done if that's what you want right now but what I like to do for the final thing is right click go new adjustment layer then we're gonna go up to lay or not layer effect blur and sharpen we're just going to do a nice Gaussian blur and we're going to move it up to whatever looks good to you. I'm going to do about 8.2. Then with it selected, I'm going to go up to the ellipse tool. I'm going to double click on the ellipse tool. I'm going to invert the mask. Then I'm going to put the feather up a lot. A lot, a lot. Yeah. That, that's a lot, a lot. <laughs> So yeah, just put the feather up a lot and then uh, you can mess with the expansion and everything. But that just puts a nice little blur on the edges. If you can't already tell, it, that's what it does. So, I mean, really, it, it brings a whole new depth, in my opinion, to the, to the image. You know, when things come in and off and stuff, it makes you focus on the middle. It just all around looks a lot nicer. And you know what I forgot to do, which makes this whole picture look a million times better? I can't believe I forgot. That's that's what happens when you rush. Okay, never rush, you guys. But I'm the teacher. I can do whatever the I want. <laughs> Go to your grunts texture, drag and drop it into the blank canvas area over here, and then let's drag it between the blinds in the background. And I'm gonna hit Control or not Control T. Wow, this is not Photoshop. I'm gonna hit S to scale it. I'm gonna scale it right about to where it touches the edges. Then I'm gonna Oh yeah, that's that's also where if you don't have the blending mode, you can hit F4, and we're going to make it soft light, and boom! Look at that; it adds a whole new depth to the entire thing. Doesn't that look awesome? All right, so the last thing I'm going to show you is how to animate the text. So let's do it real quick. Um, with when you go to the beginning of the timeline right here, have check it selected, hit P, and then keyframe the position. And we're going to click and then hit shift. We're going to drag it all the way over here. Then at about maybe 13 frames, we're going to click and drag it once again, holding shift. And we're going to bring it to right about the middle, not the complete middle. Well, yeah, maybe the complete middle. Right about, right about there looks good. We're going to go all the way to the back. And we're going to go to about 13 frames again from the back. And we're going to barely drag it holding shift of course then when it gets to the very back we're just gonna click and drag it all the way off screen a little bit further than normal right about there alright so we got a very basic animation going on and you see how it's going back and forth right there that's because After Effects is weird sometimes so have these two selected whatever two are having the real big motion applied we're gonna right click them go to keyframe interpolation or whatever I don't know how to pronounce it <laughs> and then it, see this it says auto bezier we're gonna change that to linear and hit OK and that just basically fixes that wobble keyframe and that's what a lot of people make the mistake of doing so now we're gonna hit control and click and then that just creates nice uh, nice bezier or whatever it's called keyframes and it just basically basically looks like you throw the, the logo out there and it lands then it slowly picks up and goes out. So then we're going to do the same exact thing to the URL. All right, and let's go to the beginning. And we're going to hit the URL. We're going to hit P. We're going to keyframe the position. We're going to put it all the way to the right, just like before. And I'm actually, I, I do want to see these keyframes too, because then I can just go to the exact same parts right there. Click, drag to about the middle. Right about there looks good. Gonna drag all the way to the end, just about right there. Gonna barely click and drag it just a little bit. Then we're gonna drag to the end and then drag it all the way off. See that? Perfect. Looks great. So now they both kinda do that thing, but this is doing that wobble keyframe again. So right click, 
keyframe interpolation or whatever <laughs> linear then uh, control click boom now we got our beziers and both looks great I mean that already looks amazing so yeah guys I just uh, animated it and it's looking very nice but there's a few th there's one more thing that I left out actually actually two I noticed I didn't put a drop shadow on this let's do that real quick if you guys remember go up to effect go to perspective drop shadow let's do a hundred percent let's zoom in actually we don't need to zoom in cuz I mean we gotta just put the the distance down a bit we'll do it at about one pix or two pixels and then a one pixel blur that'll just make it look really nice look at that it's perfect so yeah it's looking great and I'm sorry I rushed through this whole thing but you guys must have learned something you know I taught you how to do this so I mean be happy you ungrateful person <laughs> I'm just gonna do one more adjustment layer too just cuz I can alright go over to effects and let's just put a nice little curves adjustment on curves apply it to the second layer and we're just gonna just gonna crush the blacks a little bit to make everything a little darker but now that we're losing some of that let's uh some of that color in there let's go to the check it let's go to the ramp real quick and just drag that ramp down a bit so you bring some of the the gray back into that and bring that yeah that looks good now let's go to the URL and that's still looking good so we're still good there and with that now you are done and it looks amazing and you'll get all the girls and everyone will love you your family will accept you now it's just amazing all around <laughs> so yeah thanks so much for watching guys I'll put the uh, the link to everything in the description below so check that out give this video a like a thumbs up be excited for Brandon's awesome tutorial on Tuesday and with that I'm gonna go eat thank you guys for watching we love you thanks for 40k peace out <laughs>